<laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. This is part two of our sortie to the top of Australia aboard Tropic Paradise, our mothership for a week here on the west coast of the Gulf of Carpentaria. In the early morning, you never know what you're gonna hook up here. I think down there we might come across some queenies, perhaps a giant herring, or oh, definitely some golden trevally. Folks, fasten your seatbelt. We're in for the ride of your life, folks. My goodness me, I think I might have hooked an outboard motor. <laughs> Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. The old bearded burbler is in his element. <laughs> it's just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! Yes, in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. Folks. So one word that comes to my mind is power. And there's only one word to describe what I'm feeling at the moment. Only one word. Absolutely magnificent. After all of this time, I never ever tire of this. Because number one, I love fishing. I love the environment. But you know what? They reckon I'm a, well, they reckon I'm a Samson fish short of the continental shelf, but I really am. I can feel you sitting back there saying, I wish I was up here. I wish I was with Rexy. Just seeing nature at its very, very best. And that's what I get out of it. I've got as much drag on this reel as the rod will take. Is when the rod is loaded up just like that, and Brendan will show you, if you loaded that up anymore, it will snap. Now, when that happens, kids, don't pull. Just allow the rod to sit there and the fish to tire. Although I have a sneaking suspicion, folks, that this fish is just sitting in the current saying, what is this? I've got a bit of lolly in my teeth, you know what I mean? This is a very, very big and powerful fish. And I just feel totally committed now to get this fish in to show you just what a tiny little artificial fly made of fur and feather around about oh, eight to nine centimetres long at the most, can catch a fish over a metre in, uh, in length. And I'm levering the fish while I've still got a bit of stretch in the fly line. Not a lot of stretch in the backing because it's like braid. And when I get him to ease up, I'll charge down and I'll get some more line back on the reel. The reel at this stage is doing a good job, but the rod is the thing that's really starting to tire this fish out. There's a fish down here in the shallows. It is, it is a golden trevally of serious proportions. He's got big, big rubber lips. I tell you what, if you wet his lips, you can stick him to the side of a bus. And come down, mate. Oh. Greg, you do this for a living, son. I do this for a holiday. What do you think I should do now? Well, you just do a better job than this, Rex. You're doing bloody well. Get him up in the shallows here. I'll go in and try and get him by the tail. Right. And we'll have a good look at him. But that's a magnificent fish. Isn't it a magnificent fish? Wow. I just, I just cannot panic here. I see so many people, they see a fish and they just want to get it in the boat. And this would be 99% of the times, Gregory, where your clients lose fish because... Most definitely. They've come from a law firm in Sydney or they've come up from an office in Melbourne, they spent all the hard money and they say, oh, look at the size of this fish, I don't want to let him go. But you do have to let him go. These are powerful creatures. They get too excited at the end. You just put on, like you're fighting that fish now, if you had 10 kilo line, I would estimate you were probably putting nine and a half 
kilos of pressure on that yep. fish the whole time like you're supposed to to land yep. a fish and when you see it you just go that little bit extra too much and it's quite often just that too much and you lose that beautiful fish but that's not going to happen with this one oh wow should be happy with that rexy look at that oh wow with a little fly in his mouth oh wow come on mate isn't he just magnificent Look at those rubbery lips. Now, I did actually push that barb down, so that should... Look, it just came out just like that. The barb came down. That is a magnificent fish. I'll stand to the sun for a photograph, do you think? I don't oh, want to take it, you it do will. that. Of course it there will. You go. It is a privilege to come here and catch these fish, and it's a more of a privilege for me to be in your living room. And I simply say, thank you very much. Come on, mate. Come on. We're gonna get you going, mate. We're gonna get you going. I feel his tail, he wants to go, actually. He wants to go. There he goes, look at that. Absolutely magnificent.